Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be painting over another one of my pen sketches. This time it's on my Etcher Lab watercolor sketchbook. This is one of the few sketches that I had sketched in advance just so I could paint over them. As usual, I am using my Holbein gouache and the photo that I'm going to be painting is something that I saw on Pinterest. I know it's of Laura Harrier, but I don't really know what movie it's from. It was kind of a screenshot of a video that, uh, sort of a video compi compilation I have of her. I will still have it on my references board on my Pinterest, so in case you guys are interested in painting it too. One of the main things that I love about the photo is the color scheme, so we're gonna have that as a priority. But also, I'm just so in love with her profiles, so we're also gonna try and see if we can recreate that look. In this video, I'm also going to show you guys my mixing palette as I'm painting because uh, I sort of got these comments uh, that they've noticed that I don't really use that much paint. And it's really true that, especially with gouache, I don't really find myself using as much paint as with other mediums. And even the palette that I'm using today, I didn't really wash. Um, I used it for the gouache process video for my patreon so gouache is just one of the f those few things that is expensive but also really just stretches such a long time i don't really know of any other medium that's opaque that feels this way i don't think watercolor and gouache are that comparable i think they're very different mediums but yeah gouache is the only opaque medium where i feel like i don't use as much paint so I, I really think it's a good investment. And also what I really love about painting over these sketches is just seeing how the gouache completely covers up the really messy sketch underneath. I just find it extremely satisfying and, and not only do I find it satisfying to paint, I also find it really satisfying to watch happen in video. I don't know if other art YouTubers feel this way too. but. Sometimes I feel like I am more attached to watching the process than I am with my actual paintings. And that's why I have so many paintings just in storage together. I don't really find myself ever looking at my older paintings but I do sometimes find myself re-watching my videos even though I don't really like listening to myself that much I would have it on mute and just look at the process because I just really like watching the process more than the actual output I guess About this sketchbook, I'm just so impressed by this one. 
I don't think I was this impressed when I initially reviewed it, but I just love this sketchbook so much now. It's watercolor paper, so it is a bit thicker than my preferred sketchbook, like actual sketchbook <laughs> sketchbook, but I do really, really like sketching on the surface of it. I think the most impressive part about this is just it doesn't buckle. In my first few paintings in this, I had actually used a lot a lot of water for them. And this paper never warps. It kind of buckles just a tiny bit when you first initially put in the water, but it dries completely straight, which is something that I'm so impressed with. So it's one of those rare moments where I enjoy sketching, painting with watercolors and also painting with gouache in one sketchbook, so I really think that this is so great in that way. So now I want to talk about my biggest challenge when I was painting this. In the beginning of the video, I was talking about how just incredible Laura's profile was in this photo, but it actually became one of the hardest things for me to get right. It's a combination of, of different things. Partly it's because her face is just so recognizable that even though she's in profile and we're only seeing half of her face, even with her eyes closed, I can clearly recognize her in the photo. And also since this is a screenshot of sort of like a behind the scenes footage of, of a photo shoot that it's not really that great of a quality. I will show you guys in the video what I was seeing, but it's, it was really hard to um, pinpoint the finer details of her face. But even then, you can really still recognize that this is her. And it's not only those things, it's the execution was also very hard. It just is such a small sketch. And not only is this a regular sized sketchbook, but I also decided to scale down the photo a little bit so I can sort of get this, sort of the, just the right dimensions that I wanted in the page. So it's so small and then one of the bigger reasons why it was hard for me to get her face was because in the sketch I didn't really find it necessary to finalize what her face would look like. So I think you guys will be able to see how I just go back and forth with her face. I will actually would slowly try to shave off a bit of her profile because because I sort of drew the sketch to be this typical, just sort of this basic cartoonish profile, which is very far from what the actual photo looks like. So I had to go back multiple times to just so I can get her face right. But other than all of those things I just mentioned, I really enjoyed sketching this. I felt like I was so in love with this sort of brown and gray color scheme that it was so nice to um, see it all come together and also building up the details on top of those colors so I was really having fun with this painting.
One other thing that I love doing was also the colors of her dress and especially her skirt. I don't know how accurate what I painted was to the reference photo but I really enjoyed blowing up these metallic sort of accents and yet still maintaining this warm brown and grayish tones. So I really enjoyed painting those colors. A thing that, uh, that I sort of just made different from the reference photo was the earring she had and it's it's very big and very graphic. I don't really know style-wise how this would work with everything else but I, I just wanted there to be this focal point that, that will draw you to her face. So I just added that earring in there and I sort of painted it this very warm gold. I think I should have just pushed up the value of this so much more just so it really stands out on top of everything right now i th kind of think that in the end its value sort of just almost blended in with her gowns i'm undecided whether i like that or not i sort of like that that it's pulling some of the attention away from the gown and into her face because like right near her face and the background it's sort of intentional that, that they're almost bending into each other so i kind of like having those two points of interest but but it's just not <laughs> it's just not what i had initially intended this this commentary has made me suspicious of something and that i think i sort of have this habit of trying to rationalize my artworks maybe i'm subconsciously trying to tell myself to like it more than I initially did when I painted it but always or more like sometimes I have found myself liking my paintings more in hindsight while I'm doing my voiceover than when I'm painting. I would actually want to see if you guys find the commentary sort of off-putting when I try to rationalize my paintings like this, but yeah. That is it for this video. I'm so sorry for this one taking so long, but I have just been s completely destroyed by my, by my allergies lately. I feel like last week I was either sneezing my nose off or just recovering from my medication, but yeah i'm so sorry for this one taking so long the next one will be coming out sooner than this one did i also finally got the scroller box boxes that they sent me so i'm really excited to try that thank you everybody for watching and i will see you guys again soon <laughs>